I'm here at dentist Dr. Jay Grossman's office, and I'm about to meet Ted Williams, the golden voice. Hi, how's how it you going, doing, buddy? Sir? Good to see you, man. So how does it feel to get your first dental My procedure first in how many years? years? Over 20. 20 dog. years. Oof. So, Ted, this is called the Tanorex. It's going to move around your head. It only takes about eight seconds, and it's going to show me all of your teeth. So let me tell you what we're looking at. Do you see there's a dark mark around here? That's an abscess. It's an infection. On the upper left, you see these two little pieces of teeth? It's a broken tooth. Uh -huh. So the top part fell out, but the roots are still stuck. And all the black is decay, so it's infected. Now, my bigger concern is where the bone is that's holding your remaining teeth in place. Right now, you have about 60% bone loss. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these teeth are loose. Man. See, now all the white that you see that's at the top of the teeth, uh -huh. th 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 this is a buildup of, of, of plaque, okay. Okay? and that's underneath it is where the infection is. And there are, I believe, at least three teeth that, that need immediate extraction. So we're talking about a big, major, major market for uh, uh, a, 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 a full <laughs> smile makeover. I'm right now uh, the uh, poster child for homelessness at this point, and I don't want to have all of this done and have all of this uh, adulation and everything bestowed upon me and to let anybody down. But I'm not getting the work done. I don't want the work done right now. Ted truly has oral health problems that were addressed in that piece. And we have dentist Dr. Jay Grossman who examined Ted Williams in the audience to talk about this because that's one of the elements you were pointing out, probably a long-standing dental abscess that if these don't get addressed, that can lead to major problems. But let's talk about the first issue, which is addiction, which can cause major damage to your teeth and to your oral health, correct? That's correct. Our main concern when we see somebody who's been using drugs, especially like Ted and the last dental visit was over 20 years ago, I'm looking for decay, I'm looking for periodontal disease, dry mouth, ulcers, and the overall bigger concern is how it might affect his immune system. Now, is it the drugs that affect the teeth, or is it the, just the lack of care because they're, you know, not with it? That's a perfect point. It's actually the combination of both. Certainly, while people are using drugs, the last thing that they're doing is going home and using their toothbrush Flossing. and flossing twice a, <laughs> twice a day. And, of course, their diet usually consists at that point of candy bars, which exacerbates the problem. Ted has an amazing voice. That's was when, there concerns that this would change his we voice? We started talking about that in the office, and that's when I think the first shades of doubt came into his mind, is when you said this might change his voice, right? Correct. In fact, Jim, you and I chatted before he showed up, and we said, well, what can we expect? And he said, well, on the simple side, maybe it's a cleaning and a whitening and we're done. On the other side, maybe it's a full mouth rehabilitation and extractions. And that's ultimately what he's looking at. Um, I'd be hard pressed to actually save any of those remaining teeth. Mm -hmm. And my biggest concern is now we have somebody who'd be fully edentulous and their voice is going to change appreciably. The last thing I'd want to do is give him, let's say, a removable denture that would change the volume of air in his mouth and possibly change his voice radically. Mm -hmm. and, and for people who are trying to figure out why, when you make a sound, the air from your lungs goes up, rises through your vocal cords, and obviously that's where a lot of his melodious tones are coming from, mm -hmm. but then totally. it travels up, out through your mouth, and anywhere along that path can affect yeah. your voice. Shipping and your and tongue and your nose and your teeth and all the structures in there, it's a big resonating chamber. Right. You change that. So is there a way to address the medical concerns you have when it comes to his mouth and oral health without maybe taking the drastic measures of possibly changing his voice? Sure. My biggest concern when I saw him is that there were three teeth that needed immediate extractions because they're abscessed, which means his immune system right now is being compromised. So in the ideal world, I wanted to take care of that the day that I right. saw him. However, he was overwhelmed. And we are highlighting such an important issue here, and that is poor dental health amongst people who don't have resources or who are homeless. And I want you to tell us about charity Homeless Not Toothless. Homeless Not Toothless is now celebrating its 20th year. It's a program I started in Brentwood. And I'm thrilled that, you know, now, 20 years later, my office alone has done over $2 million worth of pro bono work. Wow. And that doesn't count the dozens of my colleagues who've been very, very generous with their time to help participate in actually ending the cycle of homelessness through quality dental care. Thank you for your help with Ted, but also for what you're doing with Homeless Not Toothless, and thanks for being here today. Thank you.